Okay, what I want to do now is talk about three uh, actual real-world applications of magnetic fields and magnetic forces uh, that are are used and that we can actually we know enough about magnetism now to fully explain. So the first is called a velocity selector and actually a velocity selector is a device that may be used in other devices uh, like the second thing we're going to talk about um, the mass spectrometer. So a velocity selector uh, like I said, it's it's a device that's used in other devices, and this is what it does. Um, it gets a bunch of streamed charged particles of the same velocity. So let me explain what's what the issue is is here. You have something that is a source of, say, electrons, uh, or some charged particles electrons or protons or ions or whatever and the thing is usually uh, whatever method you're using to get them to come out like maybe you're taking like one for example you don't have to really understand this or know this but like if you take a chunk of metal and you do something to it you can get some of those free electrons to actually leave the metal you can actually get them to eject out of the metal um, so you can get electrons to come flying out of this thing if you hit it with enough energy. Okay, but the thing is the electrons that are coming out are going to be going first of all in all kinds of different directions and secondly they're going to be coming out in all kinds of different speeds. Now in some applications though you want to have electrons that are all moving at the same speed. So how do you do that? Um, well rather than trying to corral all of these and get them moving at the same speed what we can do is just filter out the ones that aren't moving at the speed you want. So that's called a velocity selector. It's going to, it's going to be a little sort of uh, kind of a gauntlet that anything that's not moving at the right speed will not get through. Okay, so here's what it looks like. So you have your electrons coming off of the metal. And then here's the velocity selector. So what we're going to have is two Uh, metallic plates and now we're looking at them side on so these are actually plates that are com coming in slash out of the screen and we're just looking at them on edge okay and it's actually it's a capacitor situation so we have the one charged positively okay and the other one is charged negatively with the same amount of charge so it's a parallel plate capacitor and we know then that we will get an electric field that goes from the positive to the negative, a nice uniform electric field, slightly non-uniform right at the edges. But right, we remember that large plates create pretty much uniform electric fields. Again, the electric field. All right. Now at the same time, maybe in front of this and behind this we set up magnets so that we create a magnetic field and the magnetic field let's make the magnetic field so that it's going into the screen so we have a magnetic field going inward and an electric field going downward just in the same region of space okay now the idea here is that only electrons that are coming out of here going in the right direction at the right speed will eventually make it through here. Now obviously anything that's not going it's going off in some other direction is never going to make it over here. So first of all the only the ones that are kind of coming pretty much in this direction are even going to enter the velocity selector. But they're coming at different speeds. Some are really fast, some are really slow. And Let's see, how's this going to work? What my, my point is, so, um, yeah, let's see. An electron that's coming in, here's an electron and it's coming in this way. It's going to feel both an electric force and a magnetic force. The electric force, let's see, as it, as it enters in here, let's see. The electric force is going to be upward. 
right? Because electrons are negative, so they actually want to go against the electric field, right? So they're going to feel a force upward. Magnetic force. The magnetic force, uh, what direction will that be? So we've got a velocity to the right and going inward. So again, we've done this a few times in these videos. You want to extend your, your right hand out to the right side of you, pointing outward, but with your palm facing forward so that you can curl it to the front. Your thumb will point upward, so the force would be up, but this is again a negative charged electron, so everything gets flipped, so it's actually going down. So we have a magnetic force going down and an electric force going up. So we have actually competing forces. The electric for field is trying to push it upward, the magnetic force is trying to push it downward. If either of them wins, then this thing will just like you know say if the electric force wins it's if the electric force is stronger it's just going to crash into the positive plate if the magnetic force is stronger it's just going to crash into the bottom bottom plate but if these guys equal each other they'll perfectly cancel and that electron will just slide right through so if this condition is true those electrons will get through now let's explore this condition. The uh, electric force is Q times the electric field. The magnetic force is Q times the speed times the magnetic field times sine of theta. But once again, uh, we have a 90 degree situation here, so this is just one. So we can just get rid of that. Notice that the Q's cancel now, and so I just have E equals VB, so V is E divided by B. So, if, you're, if, the, if the negatively charged object is, uh, has a speed that is exactly E divided by B, that will mean that the two forces are equal, and that means that it won't get pushed up or down, it'll go straight through, because there'll be a net force of zero. So this device, right, you can imagine an operator on the side has little dials that can control how strong the E field is and how strong the B field is. And you can set up your E and your B so that you get the V that you want, right? And then these electrons that are just coming out or whatever, they, if they're whatever kind of charged particle they are, um, going in whatever direction, all kinds of random speeds, but only the ones that are coming out in this direction at exactly the right speed within some level of tolerance will go right through. And then now what's coming out here is a stream of charged particles that all have the same velocity pretty much. And then you can do whatever you need to do with them on the, on the other end. Okay, so this is actually how you get a stream of charged particles that are all sort of moving with the same speed. It's called a velocity selector. And it's a really neat uh, uh, sort of exploitation of E fields and B fields at the same time. So that's a velocity selector.